gems, treasures from the earth. Introduction Many people consider gems to be earth's most beautiful cre <coughs> creations. They are willing to spend thousands of dollars for even a small bit of that beauty. There are three main types of gems. The first two crystals and stones are made of minerals and uh, natural non-living substances that make up most rocks. <coughs> crystals are minerals that f form in tight shapes and neat patterns. Stones are mixed <coughs> minerals that have beautiful colors and patterns but do not have strict shapes. The third group, organic gems, are made by living things. <coughs> How are gems formed? Crystals are special forms of minerals. Every mineral is made of millions of particles called atoms. In most rocks, the atoms are mixed together, but in crystal, the atoms are arranged in neat or the orderly patterns. Crystals have flat sides called faces, which form shapes. Most crystals form deep within the earth under very special conditions. Some like diamonds form when the mineral is squeezed under layer of layers of rocks. The squeezing forces the atoms to arrange themselves in the smallest shape possible. Others such as such as sapphires form when a mineral gets so hot inside the earth when it melts. As it slowly cools, the atoms form a regular crystal pattern and still other gems such as opals from form when minerals dissolve in water as the water evaporates very slowly. The mineral left behind forms a crystal. The minerals in stone do not form orderly patterns and they may have other minerals mixed in. Stones often form in layers that make up make streak and lines called the green. Organic gems which include pears, amber and coral come from living things. Pears begin when a grain of sand gets trapped inside an oyster shell. The oyster covered the grain with layers of the material material it uses to build its shell. Corals is made of skeletons left behind by millions of tiny sea creatures. Ember began millions of years ago as tree sap. How do gems get into jewelry? Most miner mineral gems are found deep within the earth because gems are so small and rare. Mining is often still done by hand. Miners must chip and cut at the rock looking for stones within it. When a miner finds a gem, it is often very rough. Its surface looks dull. Its shape is bumpy. Gems often have cracks. 
dark marks, bubbles, and other flaws. James Jim cutters cut gems into regular shapes that show off their best parts and and cover their flaws. Most crystal gems are mm, cut into flat surfaces called fa facets. Facets showed off the gems color and pattern and allow to Allow it to sparkle. The popular brilliant color style is often used with diamonds. This style has many facets that reflect light of the gem. Deep green, emeralds. Um, Emerald. Emeralds are often cut into a style called a step, step cut. The rose cut was often found on or, or, older gems. The oldest style of cut, the cabochon, is simply rounded and polished. It is all, most often used with Opaque stones, other gems such as jade and coral can be carved into small shapes. What makes gem valuable? Gems are valuable because they are beautiful and they are real. The value of a gem is de determined by gems' hardness and a system called the four C's. Cut, carat, weight, color, and clarity. Cut refers to how well the gem is cut and polished, or how beautiful the natural gem is. Carat weight is the size of the stone. One carat weight weighs but as much as a piece of an unpopped pakon. The next of the four, four C's color is one of the things that makes gems beautiful. Unlike regular rocks, gems have bright, pure, strong colors. The stronger and poorer co the color, the more valuable the gem is. Often the same mineral can form different color gems. Red, mm, rubbish, rubies, and blue sapphires both contain the same mineral. The different colors come from Tiny bits of other chemicals mixed with the main mineral. Clarify refers to how flawless, flawless the gem is. Gems with dark marks, cracks, and bubbles are less valuable than gems without these flaws. Gems that are cloudy are also less valuable than clear or gems, but clarity is often not as important as the size and rarity of the gem. Emeralds often have many flaws, but because they are so rare, a flawed emerald is more valuable than a flawless diamond. Hardness and the most scare. Hardness in case indicates how pure and pure and tightly structured structures the mineral is in a gemstone. A jurist geologist named Friedrich Moll developed a scale to test the hardness of gemstones. 
he simply scratch the one gem with another gem can only scratch other gems that are softer than it is diamond the hardest substance on earth can scratch anything but can only be scratched by another diamond what are some types of gems diamonds are the, har the hardest natural things in the world because diamonds can cut anything including metal and stone flawed diamonds and are often put on saws and drill tips very rare diamonds can be yellow red or blue one of the most famous diamonds the hope diamond is not is not the largest but it is an usual sky blue color the largest diamond ever found is the Korean Kolman diamond, which was discovered in South Africa. It weighed over uh, 3,100 3, carats and uh, was uh, as large as a pineapple. Rubies and sapphires are made of the same minerals. Minerals rubies are always blood and red or pink. Any other form of the mineral, no matter the color, it considers a sapphire.